What's up, meatbags? It's the often imitated, never duplicated Tony TGG coming at you with a quick review of Moonlighter. Now, Moonlighter is a 2018 release developed by Digital Sun, published by 11 bit studios. As you can see, the game has three difficulty settings it is a rogue light dungeon crawler slash merchant shop simulator with a heavy, heavy Legend of Zelda feel. And we're going to get into it. But before we do, we got to tell you how much it costs, where you can pick it up, and what's going on with this game. Well, uh, right now you can pick it up at the Nintendo eShop. $24.99 gets you the base game. $28.99 gets you the complete edition, which is the base game plus the DLC. If you already have the base game, just want to pick up that DLC, that's going to cost you $6.99. Now over on the Xbox side, it's only $19.99 for the base game. $23.99 is going to get you the complete edition. The DLC is $6.99. But if you have Game Pass, well then you get the base game free. That's right, free on Game Pass. Steam, $19.99, base game, but $24.28 gets you that complete edition. It's kind of weird pricing. Now, $6.99 gets you the DLC. It was on sale a couple of weeks ago. That's when I picked it up. Unfortunately, it's no longer on sale on Steam. But if you have PlayStation, well, you can pick it up on sale there because the base game, although regular price $19.99, right now you can get it on sale for $4.99. The complete edition, not on sale. That's $23.99. And for $6.99, you're going to get that DLC. So if you want the base game and the DLC, right now, pick it up and combine those two. Don't get the complete edition. That'll cost you more. Base game plus DLC with the sale is going to cost you about $12. If you have, uh, I think it's PlayStation Extra, whatever the middle one is, uh, Moonlighter is free on that too. Uh, so pick it up. Now this game, at its heart, is a roguelike dungeon crawler. You go into dungeons, as you can see, it's a very Zelda-like feel. Beat monsters, collect loot, but then you take that loot back to your town and you sell it in your shop. Now this is where the shop simulator, merchant simulator comes in. You're going to have to set prices, you're going to have to gauge customers. Uh, eventually you're going to have people trying to come into your shop, steal things. You're going to have high-priced customers looking for specific items. Uh, so you're going to have to do a lot of management. Then you're going to have to do a little town management because you're going to have to invite people to your town. They're going to open up new shops. It's only about five, so it's not that in-depth, not that complicated. But they'll open up shops so you can buy new armor, new weapons. You can buy um, potions. Uh, there'll be a shop that you'll be able to purchase different uh, components that you can pick up in the dungeons. But if you, you know, you're know you missing like one or two, you might as well just buy it right from the shop that'll help you in order to create new armor new weapons and then you go back in the dungeons beat a bunch of monsters rinse and repeat that is the basic uh gameplay loop now the story in the game is you're playing this shopkeeper he runs the moonlighter shop he wants to defeat the fifth dungeon you see in this town there's four doors and each door leads to a different dungeon and then there's a fifth door that no one knows how to unlock well, turns out after you beat the first dungeon, you find out there's a key. So then you surmise that each of these four dungeons must have a key to that fifth mystical dungeon, and you'll be able to find out what's behind it. Now with the DLC, you add a sixth dungeon. Uh, that's a lot longer. All these dungeons, the original five, are only three floors each. Multiple rooms, but only three floors. First two floors get you a mini boss. Third floor gets you a regular boss. Uh, it's not that hard it scales up very nicely uh, it does have a dodge roll mechanic so it's very light dark souls ish if you will uh, but mostly it's like a legend of zelda type game different weapons uh, different items to use your inventory is very limited uh, because you are collecting a lot of stuff so you're gonna have to decide what you're gonna take back to town what you're gonna throw away eventually you will get a merchant's mirror so you can sell things in the dungeon at a steeply reduced price uh, you're going to get a, another item that's going to allow you to have a temporary uh, transporter between town and dungeon so you can go back and drop some stuff off get back in the dungeon now the exit of the dungeon is either you die and you lose all the items in your book bag you keep the items on your person there's a separate thing so there's like six items that are on your person and then a bunch of items in your, in your bag if you die you lose everything in the bag but not the items on your person or you can use the magical portal this is going to cost you a set amount of money depending on what floor you're in what dungeon you're in uh, that'll take you back to town no problem then like i said you have the um 
teleport, the one-way teleport, when you unlock that, it's going to cost you a lot more money than that mirror. But it's going to allow you to go back to town, drop off some items, and get some more stuff, maybe upgrade, then go back into the dungeon and pick up where you left off. Now, if you're far enough in the game, this is going to be the preferred method of play because you're going to want to go back and forth and you're going to be able to sell items for way more than what it costs for you to use this one-way transport so it's not a big deal uh, the first couple of times when you use it it's going to seem like it's cost too much it's overpriced uh, but eventually you'll get the hang of it you'll learn which items are uh, well priced which ones are you going to want to get grab come back and sell then basically like i said rinse and repeat now the dlc adds some extra things some extra items extra enemies uh, there will be special little levels that you can fall into uh, because normally you don't want to fall down that hole but with the dlc uh, there'll be spots where you'll see like a green little bubble you can fall down that and you'll have a in-between dungeon which has its own mini boss its own items its own rooms uh, all the dungeons are randomly created so you it's not the same every time you go into it it's gonna be a little bit different it's gonna change each one also has a fountain of health the health is determined before you get into the dungeon, it's based on how much health you start with and other things. Uh, you'll be able to upgrade your shop with different items, a better bed, better storage, uh, better presentation so you can put more items out to sell. Then, uh, like I said, it just rinses and repeats. But it's fun. That's the key to this game. It is very fun. Very, very well done. Controls are tight. I enjoyed it. I've been playing it almost nonstop since I got it. Uh, great game. Highly recommend it. Uh, really, there's nothing much more to say about it. If you see this game on sale, if you got Game Pass, if you got that PlayStation Extra, I suggest you get this one. Try it out. It is a great, great game. And uh, we'll see you on the next review. Love, peace, booty grease. I'm out this bitch.